How's it going everyone? Sephir here and we are back. Today we're going to be talking about a new game, Tower of Fantasy. It is very much like Genshin Impact if you have played that game before. It is a gotcha game so word of caution uh, if you're not familiar with those you'll understand once you get in. Uh, but I've been playing this game, it's been in the closed beta test phase so far, and it has been a blast. I'm having a really good time exploring the world, and I've done a lot of that. If you can take a look at my map here, I can show you I've pretty much 100% completed uh, the first area and the first story, and I've cleared most of the zone. I'm exploring some of the other continent and zone areas, so I'm progressing on everything. And I've been having a great time doing so. There's tons of things to collect, like teleport shrines and certain special puzzles around the world, all sorts of gadgets that will give you more currency rewards and rolls for the shop. And I've definitely been having a good time playing this game so far. A few of the things to take note of this system, as in Genshin Impact, you kind of have four characters to cycle through. In this game, you do have that to some degree, but it's more in the form of your uh, simulacrum, which is basically a spirit of a warrior that's strong in the past which you base you use as a weapon kind of so you have a few weapons that you can use it's similar to new world in that fashion where you would have like an e weapon or you know one two three weapons all with separate cooldowns and so i could pull out each one of those weapons use its ability and then switch to the next weapon and use it as well and the combat in this game is pretty flashy as you can th see there's a lot of options even aerial options and a lot of uh, different dodging and like skill-based combat um, availabilities here so it's definitely very fun and intuitive in that regard there are a lot of things for you to do in a day essentially you can kind of go through a mission thing you get these like daily missions there's all kinds of achievements for comp uh, conquering different things and collecting different things within an area so there's all kinds of different uh, progress settings on those as well as like storylines so you can like 100% complete a zone and get rewards for that and you can complete the next zone in the next chapter and there's all kinds of different characters and stuff like that there are a few things that are unique to this game that I would say is different from Genshin Impact you do get two gadgets so far from what I see so a gadget can be anything from a jetpack which literally allows you to fly in the air like if you were venti and genshin impact and you could do a bunch of uh, gliding stuff and cool things like that and then there's like a whole list of gadgets there's like a jet board there's a a giant robot that you can pilot it's kind of crazy so it's set in this like sci-fi new world type fantasy setting and it's definitely got a lot of jokes and lines from different stories you can see some similarities between Genshin Impact, Borderlands, and some of the other uh, games, but it looks like a weird amalgamation of all of that kind of rolled into this like fun explorative package. So if you like games like Zelda Breath of the Wild, if you like games like Genshin Impact, if you like just MMOs in general, you probably will have a pretty good time here. Uh, there are like different things like chapter books where you can collect certain um, skills and uh, items just off of doing achievements. And then there is also like this sort of uh, multiplayer level to it that you wouldn't see in Genshin Impact. There's still a resin sort of system. So there's this, what do they call this? Um, I forgot what they called it. It's not resin, but it's something else. Uh, but you get a certain amount of that and it regenerates. But you can do these like mini spiral bis with other players so you can join up co-op i did some with my friend earlier we have a video on that so we'll go ahead and release that at some point but it was definitely a blast there's like different phases some of them are like puzzle phases some of them are kill enemies in a certain amount of time and then there's like a giant boss and he has special mechanics and different elemental weaknesses and there's different elemental weapon types and that was all really really fun actually that was something that was interesting and then you have the element of the gotcha system which is called special orders in this so uh, it's just like Genshin. There's like banners that switch out and there's like a basic banner and then there's uh, banners that are specialized for certain characters and it does have a pretty nice pity system. You can see like all the info on that here. So this would be the um, 
gold version, which is like the best version, but you can see what your chance is to get an SSR uh, character or an SR character, and then it kind of goes down from there. And then there's also a free currency, which you will get a lot of. I, I could get like 80 of these things in a day and roll 80 rolls, but there's also this, and it has lower odds, but it, you know, hey, it's free. You don't have to spend anything on it. You will also get those gold ones in the game as well, but they're mostly for like milestone achievements and like rare uh rare spawns essentially but it, it's been really really fun i've had a blast playing it and earning these little tokens and pulled it i managed to pull uh two ssr characters they're actually sisters oddly enough so i got the two the pair of those so i got a flame shield that converts into a great axe and a double pistol character which this one's definitely my favorite she does ton of damage and just the ability to fly in the air and and sort of just keep levitating like this and shooting out bullets and raining them down is really fun. Uh, so I've definitely been having a great time. Um, I'm not sure on the end game of this character. As you can see uh, in the top right, there it says that new chapter starts in 12 hours. So it looks like they're time gating us in this beta. We can only go so far in the main storyline per 24 hours. But I think that's a good thing because it, it forces everybody to stop and explore and to check out things going on the map, side quests and puzzles and different like hidden things that you can find. So if you like collecting stuff like that, this is going to be a really fun game for you. I'm gonna keep playing it and see how the end game is, but so far I really like what I am seeing. I'm seeing a pretty flushed out, polished game. There are a little bit of missed dialogues, translation things here and there, uh, a little bit of sketchiness in terms of like interacting sometimes with some things, but it's very fluid for the majority of the game, like 98% of the game. Uh, so it's in a very good state for a beta, I would say, and it's definitely ready to be like polished up a tiny bit and then presented soon i haven't explored the entire map yet because a lot of these places are locked behind the higher levels and if you go in them if you're not high enough level you just die i guess you just slowly take poison damage and die so um i will keep exploring these different things but there's all kinds of like fast travels to connect travel is really easy um and then oh i almost forgot about the best part of the second unique thing besides the little gadgets, you actually have like a mount. You can just get a vehicle. So I could just like hop on a like motorcycle or whatever I want to do and just start riding around and zooming really fast. <laughs> and uh, that's definitely been a blast. It looks like there's other vehicles that you can get to later on. So maybe you'll be able to get some sort of flying ship or something like that. Uh, but it, it uses the traditional stamina system as well that Genshin uses where you can like climb up or you know the same thing from Breath of the Wild all these games kind of imitate that um, so it's it's definitely got a nice feel to it a good comfortability and it's very it feels good to explore the world right like it makes me really want to play the game I found myself playing quite a lot I was surprised um, and I really want to like check out everything I want to find all the hidden secrets I want to get more roles so I can get more care Characters and sort of like build up my team combo uh, and you know try out the different combos of weapons and things like that and it looks like they have like some hard difficulties of like four person like raid style things and and hard challenges that are like timed uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to checking out a lot of that stuff but so far I think for day one and part of day you know half of the day two this is a pretty good game. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely impressed with it. If you have enjoyed, um, again, those games in the past, like Genshin Impact, Breath of the Wild, any sort of MMOs, you like anything like that, this is definitely a fun game uh, to play. I would definitely encourage you to apply for the beta and check it out. Uh, we'll get more news as time goes on. I'm sure there will be plenty more betas, and I do notice that like I haven't spent any money on it yet, but it does seem to be very generous to free-to-play players. Like, you can spend money in the gotcha system and pull for banners, but you get so many rolls that <laughs> you probably won't even need to. Like, I have two SSR characters right now and a duplicate of one, and I don't think there's that many SSR characters. I think there's like four five maybe or six uh, currently in the game so i already got like one third of the roster right and i and this is just 
being level 24 i'm not even on like the third continent yet i'm just on like the second little map area but they're very very generous with the amount of pools that you can generate and they seem to just constantly come back every day like there's always something more something out there to discover each zone unlocks more pools that i can get so i can keep attempting to get those high uh characters and the special characters and all that good stuff so i think it's very generous so far to free to play players at least it is in the closed beta i don't know if they're going to adjust those numbers but hopefully they don't because i really enjoy this i like getting all this stuff and it does encourage me to want to play and to want to explore and to uh you know further continue playing the game every day right uh, that generosity goes a long way i think with free-to-play players and they really like being able to earn things within the game so i think that's really uh fantastic for sure so that's going to be it for this review. Uh, day one, day two, very, very strong so far. We're going to keep watching it. I'm going to keep putting out videos. I'm going to show you some of the secret puzzles that gave me some pr trouble, some of the cool events that you can do in the end game. What's that's looking like? I'm going to keep progressing as far as I can will let me every single day. So I'm going to keep pushing that limit and I'm going to give you guys the down low. Is this game good? Is it not good? But so far, it's looking pretty dang good. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for your time and watching the video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell as always, and we will catch you in the next one.